This is Amid Yaimi Gemara Shabbos Daf Yutes Amid Aleph. We pick it up on the very bottom of Yilches Amid Bez. Three lines from the bottom. Tanu Rabbanon continuing. Machlaikisim between Beishamai and Beisilo. Tanu Rabbanon Beishamai Yaimim Yishis Beishamai with regarding Salifings to Agai, etc. Lo Yim Karadam Chamit Soilin Achri. Shleishim Yaim, Kaidim Pesach, and we have Chametz, how beautiful. Lo Yim Karadu Chametz Lenachri, one cannot sell his Chametz to a guy. Elim Kain, unless he knows Yedea Boy Sheikhalim Kaidim Ha Pesach. Says me Shamai, you sell it to the guy and he has to finish it before Pesach. Never be Shamai. Basil Oim Rim calls man Shamotalachlai, as long as he's permitted to eat the Chametz Motalamachrai, you're allowed to sell it and you do not have to be concerned. That the guy has to eat it prior because it's not in your possession, it's the guy's. Rav Yudaimer, as we turn over to Yutasim and Aleph, Kutach Abavli, Vchomine Kutach, and all types of Kutach, which Rashi over here says is a type of dip, is also Limkar, you're not allowed to sell Shleishim Yoim Koidem Abesach, because these are items that take longer to be consumed, it says Rav Yehuda. Rav Yehuda, three lines on the top, points out why Mishem Maschilin Lidjo Shvilchas Pesach Chala Chala Asaris Pesach Alav, which you know we said a moment ago that we're Shleishim Yaim Sizmamish. I mean, this is for Yud Gimel Adar so we're within a day. Absolutely beautiful to hear the Shleishim Yaim. This is when we start learning Elchas Pesach, and I guess this is our start. Taner Rabban, and we continue two lines on the top. You tell someone I'll live. Nice and mezayin is in the akela of a chotzer. One is allowed to put food in front of a dog in his chotzer, a chotzer that you can carry in. You can put food there for your dog. Not levi yatsa. If the dog takes the food and leaves your chotzer, ain't this cocking lie? It's not your problem. Kayyitzer by similarly nice and mezayin is in the anachri bechotzer. This is a halacha that we mentioned yesterday. Now we get to see in a little bit more in depth. You're allowed to put food in front of a guy in your chutz, or not love yatsa, in his kakulai. If he takes it out, you don't have to worry about it. Says the Gemara Hasu Lamali, why do we need the second case? Hai nuach, it's the same as the first. Ma'u the tema would have thought, hai rami alev, hai lo rami. Like, come on, shalan, they were not even worried about the guy taking out the item. Tan rab, anu la yasra, adam kill an akhri, barev shabbis. You're not allowed to rent your item to a guy in Erev Shabbos, Rabbi Vichamishi Motor. But on Wednesday and Thursday, then it's going to be Motor. Similarly, Ain Mishalchan Igra is Vianachi Barev Shabbos. You're not allowed to send a letter with a guy on Friday, but Rabbi Vichamishi Motor. Amr Lava Yisi Akain, Amr Lava Yisi Akhas, and Shalim said, Kazasav Yadai, Vianachi Leila. They never would give something to the hands of a guy. Now, the reason over here we start getting involved. In a lot of the Mechsis, in a lot of the Maris Ayins, in a lot of the intricate halachas of what a guy could do for you, sending packages, ordering packages in Erev Shabbos on Friday during the week, etc. Says the Gemara Tanarab, Onan in Mishachin Igares. You're not allowed to send a letter via Nachi Erev Shabbos. You're not allowed to send a letter from a guy. Uh, no, not from a guy. One more time. You're not allowed to send a letter with the guy beyond Nachri in the hands of the guy. Barav Shabbos. Tell him, can you cut some Let's your kaitits. Let's you stipulate. Now, here we start understanding that there's something called kitsitsa. There's something called stipulating something for the guy. Now, what is this kitsitsa? Kitsitsa simply means that you have a set fee. That you have a set fee. Let's look at Rashi for a moment. Rashi, four lines into the narrow line, says, When he knows, he's getting his hundred bucks. So why is he working right now? He's working for himself. Because he's getting his hundred dollars, meaning he's not a schir yaim, that he's being paid per hour, per minute, per day. Because then he's working for me. He's an extension of me. If there's a tzitza, if he's getting a set amount, then at some level it's called he's working for himself. But let's continue as we'll see more. Allah is Beishami Oimrim. Kedesh Egeel Abesa, he has to reach his own house before Shabbos. Beishel Oimrim. Kedesh Egeel Abesa, Samach Lachaim, he has to just reach the house nearest to the wall of the city where you're sending the letter. 
Says the Gemara, why? Follow Katzat. So we just said if you're Katzat, everything should be Mater. Amr Av Shisha Zachi Kamar Im Lohi Katzat. Then be Shamim Chigila Beisa, be Sola Imrim, Chigila Baisa, Summer Lachim. I Vamarisha in Mishalchin. I don't understand. We started off, don't send unless there's Ksitsa. Now we're saying, but even if there is Ksitsa, I'm sorry. Then we say, if you do Ksitsa, everything's Mater. Now we're saying, if you didn't do Ksitsa, then there are some cases that are mutter, but you just said in the Mishnah that with Ksitz it's all mutter. So what's going on over here? So says the Gemara, Loi Kasha, Ha de Kviya be Dayar be Masa, Ha de Loi Kviya be Dayar le Masa. Is there a be Dayar, whether that means a post office, whether that means a mayor's residence in the city? Now, what does that do for you is a very good question. Simply, what it does for you is that people know where people live that addresses are usually found, and I'll be able to send people where to go. So therefore, if there's a way that the guy could find out where to go, we assume that he'll make it there before Shabbos. That's the Kviya Beidayar, a very contested point in the world of Allah, how that translates into our world is also a similar discussion. Tan Rabbana and smack in the middle of the Amir at the two dots. Ein ma'afligin b'svina b'achas b'shashim yon kodim l'shabbos. One is not let it go on a sfina, a boat, less than three days before the Shabbos. And now we go into a new sigya. The sigya of in Mafliq and the sigya of when you let it go on a boat. The sigya of, you know, used to be extremely nagea. Then there was a time that not so much now the world of cruises once again. So we have to understand the why. Always. You have to get into the leave, the reason why things are usr. So says the Gemara, you can't get on a boat within three days. But Medvar Mamura, when is that referring to? Lidvar Harishos. Stam! Avalidvar Mitzvah, even within three days, it is Shabbat Dami. You're still allowed to get on that boat even within three days. Now, what's going on over here is, as we're going to see, is that there was Chul Shabbos that was going to have to be had if you're on this boat. Says the Gemari, You have to make a stipulation that he should dock when it comes Shabbos. And then, even though they're not going to listen to you, but because you're going for a mitzvah, then you tell them to stop on Shabbos. If they don't listen, it doesn't make a difference. Different Rebbe. You don't need to make a stipulation. A stipulation. You're going to our mitzvah to mutter. Well, make sure let's see that if you have Shabbos, mutter from a short distance, even on Friday, is mutter. So from here we see that there's numerous details converging that if you're for sure going to be off the boat, then it's fine. But there's another issue over here is the seasickness that is had from going in a boat, which we'll see. Tanur Rabban, in Sarach Ali Yarush al Nachrim, Pachas Mishesh Yakod to the Shabbos. You now that lay siege on a Gaisha city within three days, Vimishilu, but if you begin the siege, then Ain Mavsikin, you do not have to, Ain Mavsikin, you do not have to stop the siege. That the Pasik says until it is conquered, Afilu Bishabis. So once it's started, then it comes to the level of Pikuach Nefesh, which is the unique detail that's happening over here. Is that once you're in the Matsiv, then it's a situation of Pikuach Nefesh and it's a mutter. So from here we see a lot of Allah is when you're allowed to go into a situation of Pikuach Nefesh, if you know that it's going to happen. Continues the Gemara, Amarash Bagno, Yino, Yino, the two dots, 15 lines on the white lines. Says Rav Shimon Gamliel, No, Yino, Yino was the practice, etc. Tanya, let's understand what was this minog that Rashbag is pointing out to Amar Rav Sadik. Kach, I am in Hagishal Rabbi Sarv Gamliel, Shaina Zinkli, Lavan, white utensils, the Kaivis, the laundry man, Shoshim, Kodim Shabbos. Utsvum and colored garments, I feel better of Shabbos. Now, what do we learn? What is this colored Arab Shabbos? Whites during the week. It's harder to wash the whites. They need more time to get the job done. Abaya was giving a certain colored item to a laundry man. Amr Lay said to him, How much money do you want? Amr Lay said to him, I want the same thing as for white clothing. Amr Lay Abaya says, And guess what? 
The Rabbanan already anticipated you. What does that mean? The Rabbanan taught us that whites are harder. So don't tell me you want the same thing for colored. Abaye wouldn't get himself ripped off. You give clothing to the laundry man. Measure it. Measure when you get it back. Why? Because if it's larger when you get it back, that means that when they did the laundry, they would stretch it, they would pull it, they would scrub it. So if it's larger when you get it back, that means the laundry man ruined your clothing. And if it's shorter, that means he shrunk your clothing. Some practices about laundry. We'll pick it up from the two dots.